Hello all, I'm David and this is part two of my Talnar build, uh, the body and weapon systems. Uh, I'm currently painting the legs, hopefully to get those finished, maybe next week. Um, but in a few weeks I'll put out a video on my painting process and also the arms. Uh, before moving on, I'd just like to say thank you for all, all for the support. And also I'd like to shout out two people, one being Ollie from Nerdcore Painting. He's been helpful uh, with any questions I've asked him, always give me some really good answers, tips. Uh, and also with the drill chuck, um, painting legs has been quite difficult getting into those nut, uh, nuts and crannies. So having that drill chuck on the end is a really good holder for me to paint those legs. Also Izzy from Izzy Painting Studios, fantastic guy, phenomenal painter. Go follow him. He's been helpful for any questions that I've had. Um, so please go give him, give him a follow uh, and I'll see you at the end. Hey everybody, so moving on to the bodies. Unfortunately, I decided to build the bodies before I decided to do the videos, but <laughs> it is what it is. So I'll try my best to explain um, the process of how I put the bodies together and a few things that I could have done differently, especially with putting the, bin, the pins in and then joining them to the body as well. Uh, I made a few mistakes there, but they've been corrected now. But if I could go back in time, there's a few things that I would do and I'll try and explain to you uh, on the best way uh, that I would have done that. So the body comes in a couple of bits. Pretty simple really, gluing them, obviously score the parts that you're gonna be joining uh, that will help the super glue bond. As for the first two bits then, the left and right intake torso parts, I have just pinned one pin into this part here going through uh, about five or six millimeters on, on both um, intakes. So I've only used this paper clip, so this is about a two mil paper clip, and that was it really. As for the torso rear, I've put one paper clip or one pin, sorry, into both sides on the top piece here. So one going straight in like, like that sort of thing, and then one coming in on that side. And then again, I've just marked or glued and scored uh, around, and that's all you need really to hold those bits together. As for the front main section, all I've done is to scored all around the pieces um, where I'm gonna be gluing and then put them together and that's enough really for me to hold it because there's no really best places for you to pin it that I could see. So I decided just to score lots around the area that will be gluing and then basically just use some grips once I've glued just to hold those two parts in place and leave it overnight. That's all I have done with that. So putting the bodies together, just a little idea maybe. So. Once you put them together, they do have gaps around here. So I've had to fill those with milliput. I still have to clean them up. But this tool, this is just a nail file tool that they use in salons and things like that. And, and this can be a really good tool just to clean up. You get some different attachments. I got some off eBay for like a fiver a pack of 16. And then you can use this just to clean up um, so you can get into all those little nuts and crannies. Uh, where the glue may have dripped or you may have overspilled on the milliput and I really would recommend this. This is about, I think it was like £20 and it goes to variable speeds and it's just, I was going to spend money on a very expensive Dremel tool but this has just worked a treat for me so I really would recommend this. And it's not just used for resin or forge wood models, it can be used for all sorts of kind of modelling but I highly recommend it. So for the weapon systems, because I have three Talnar, I um, have decided I'm going to glue uh, in place the weapons and not magnetize them. Apart from the arms, they will be magnetized. So moving on to the rail cannon. This part comes in two sections and it's quite bent when I got it. So a little bit of hot water, put them on the table and I'll put a book on top. And that's all I did and there was no problems there. I've still got a little bit of cleaning up and tidying up to do. And then all I've done is just drilled a hole into the cannon itself and stuck a small pin so that when I fix it to the main holder, like so, I will glue that in place and then that's not going anywhere. That can be solid, one, one solid bit. And then I've drilled 
uh, a two mil hole in into the joining part and then like so which fixes to the other part and then I've put a large pin in place so that when I do glue it once it's all painted etc I can fix it into place like so and then that will all be one solid part and yet you still have the movement. As for the other part, I've just put one pin in and then that will be glued in place like so. And that's pretty simple for the rail cannon. Pretty simple. Um, these are all still works in progresses. I'm working on the legs at the moment, painting them up and then I'll come onto the bodies uh, at a later date. So moving on to the multi-driver, I want all of my townars to be able to be taken apart from the torso and the weapon system. So I'll have the weapon system and the torso all as one part and then the legs and the arms for transport reasons will be separate. So I'm that's why I'm going to be magnetizing um, the arms. As for the weapon system itself then, all I've done is used pins uh, like so. It's just two mil pins, that's all it is. Um, I've put one on the left side uh, and that goes actually into the weapon itself. So once I do glue that in place, once I've painted it, that'll all be one solid part. And then just a small pin for the middle section. Again, when it's painted, it'll be glued. And then again, another one for the third weapon. And then once that's all glued, it'll all be one solid part. And then I'll paint the back bits that come with it and add them. And then the other little parts that go on top, uh, like so, I'll do that all at the end. As for pinning it to the body itself, just two pins and then they go and slide in like so. Very simple, very easy. Um, you can magnetize these, but I decided not to. Um, I'm not sure without thinking about it a bit more how I'd magnetize them. I guess a lot of drilling and um, into the weapon systems itself and also onto the body. Uh, that would be the best bet and then installing the magnets then. But um, I've just left it as is. I want three of each and that's the way I've decided. So that's that for the uh, multi driver. So finally, we come on to the missile system, which will be one of my favorite poses once I've got all the diorama for the bases. So each Titan that I'm building is gonna have a mini diorama on the base. Uh, and this uh, missile system, Taunar, is gonna be kind of like a ready to fire type pose or diorama type thing is what I'm kind of working on. As for the missile systems itself, they only come in a couple of parts, but all I've done is stuck a pin straight through like so, and then you have the right side fixing in place and that will be glued and then another hole pin very simple like so and I've left the flaps off which will be added at the end once I've painted as for the right side same again another pin straight down like so Ooh, maybe not like so and then into the back as is uh, and this is kind of like a readiness pose. It's kind of like coming forward. That's the kind of idea that I'm going for here. And then I've glued the flaps on already because these aren't in use. And that is the missile system. Pretty simple. That's all three explained. And uh, I'm more than happy for you to PM me, ask any questions that you got through uh, Shelby Studio on Facebook or Instagram. But feel, feel free to ask. Thank you. All, thank you very much for watching. Um, again, I am not a professional YouTuber, model maker, painter, or anything like that. It's just done on a whim. Five minute quick video type thing, that is it. Um, so I'm hoping to maybe do a few more here and there when I can, when I get the time, and I'll keep putting them online and then to see where this goes to, you know. I'm working on a massive, massive Tau army, just chipping away two or three hours a night when I finish work and also a couple of hours at the weekend. So I'm just seeing where this goes. I've got a couple of ideas. Uh, some crazy ideas as well. Uh, I've got five tiger shocks to paint and I've got a big hangar type engineering room type idea for that. Uh, so I'm after some people that can design for me and then 3D print. 
Um, so I'm looking around for any one of you that have any of uh, those skills, please contact me, please PM me, and we'll go from there. Um, but yes, this is just done on a whim, and let's see where things lead to. Thank you.